A common activity when you're working in Flash is to have multiple flaw files that you want to combine together. So you want to get all of the frames and layers of the timelines in each separate flaw file combined into a single project. This occurs often when you're working in a team where you've had multiple people working on the different files. It also is a common thing when you want to try and keep things separate or a little bit more organized. So the first step is to select File New and create a new project. And now this new project will be the main or master project that you will combine the other files into. So good practice as always is to save it before you begin. So I will now save this one and call it main. So now I have it ready to go. Now I've already prepared two separate content flaw files that I'm going to bring into the main project. So I'll select the first one and then now that I have that selected I can just simply select all of the frames and I can do that through shift clicking or I can drag and select the frames to highlight them. So there's really any number of ways that you can do it but the key thing is I need to get my frames highlighted. Once I've accomplished that I can right click in the frames and scroll down and choose copy frames. I can't do a simple command or control C to copy because that will copy artwork on the frames but I want to copy the actual frames themselves which will keep all of the layers, keyframes, and artwork intact in place when I paste it into the new project. So copy frames and now I can click over to my main document and I will then right click and choose paste. Again I can't just do a command P or control P to paste the frames in. I need to do paste frames which is different than just a simple paste. And you will notice that it added all the layers maintaining them with their correct names and the artwork is joined into the file. Now sometimes it's easy to bring in the next flaw file and to create a new scene. So if I were to go under window and choose other panels scene, I could add a new scene and put it here. And then once I've added that new scene, I could add the frames to that scene and it would keep things separate, tidy, and fairly organized. But if I were using scenes, it would almost have made sense to do that together, unless of course it is multiple people working on a project. But if I want all the frames to be in one scene, on one timeline, then what I need to do is have a new empty layer and I insert a keyframe after the existing frames that are there and at this point I can hit F6, insert a keyframe because this layer is empty, hitting F6 inserts an empty keyframe. Now if I go to my second flaw file that I want to bring over, so at this point I can once again highlight the frames and one thing to notice is I, if I try to click and drag on a motion tween, it selects the whole tween span of frames and wants to move that, select it, adjust its length. So that's not going to be a really effective way to do it. I have this empty layer so I can click and drag through those frames and that works a little bit more effectively. Alternatively, I could click on one layer and then I could hold down shift and click on the next one, the next one, the next one, and the next one. So, as always, there's multiple ways to skin our proverbial cat to select the frames on these layers. But using the new motion tween in CS4 and CS5, it creates a tween span object that is a little bit trickier to select in the timeline. So you just have to be aware of that. It's not really problematic, it's just different if you've used older versions of Flash. So now I've highlighted all the frames. I'm going to right click and choose copy frames. So that puts the flames on the frames, not flames, the frames on my clipboard and then I can go over to my new document and I will click in this empty keyframe so that it will insert these frames after the existing uh, frames on the timeline. And if I right click, I can choose paste frames. And we'll notice it gives me an error message and it says one or more library items already exist in this document. And I'm going to cancel at this point because that's not the option that I want to occur. So the problem that is happening, if we look at the original flaw file, we will notice that in its library, 
the symbols are named with their default symbol one, two, three, and four. If I go into my second flaw file, the symbols are named one, two, three, four, five, six. So there are additional symbols, but we have symbols with the same name. So when I try to paste those objects into this new combo document, main, it ran into a problem because its library had symbols one, two, three, four, and then I was trying to put in objects with the same name. Flash doesn't analyze the contents of the symbols when it tries to paste them in. It just looks at the name and realizes, wait, this already exists. That could be problematic. So a good step is when you have multiple people working on a project, every time they make a symbol, that they should then select that symbol and they should rename it. And I recommend you use something like your initials to start out the name of every symbol. So I can double click on a symbol, insert my initials, and what this does is this prevents any naming conflicts provided that the team members don't of course have the same initials. Otherwise they would need to come up with a different strategy. But as long as you do something like this, and now with these frames highlighted I can select it and choose copy frames, now when I go over to main, click on that empty keyframe, right click, and choose paste frames, it will put them in and now we'll notice our library has been updated with the symbols of both names combined together. And if I scrub through the timeline we can see that we now have the two separate flaw files combined together into one joint project. So two things to remember is Selecting the frames can be a little bit difficult and most importantly your symbols need to have unique names between each document otherwise you will have naming conflicts which will cause issues. Good luck and have fun.